So today, we're going to be playing in the ladder in my baby account because you guys told me to. The deck that we're going to be using is the Archon Vampire, the Pirate, and the Frost Fox. Now, I get that this deck does not have that much synergy, but these four heroes are the highest level heroes that we have. So we're going to use it in the ladder and see how much uh, we can win. My name is Tim Mike. I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Alrighty, shout out to the person down here for letting me know to try out a, you know, try out the ladder in my baby account. I do apologize. It has been a while since I've done a, you know, ladder video in my baby account. It's just, you know, with all the recommendations and whatnot, you know, it's very difficult to catch up. But here we are, ladies and gentlemen, he enchants three of my heroes. So already off to a horrible start here. Um, yeah, this is already a pretty, pretty bad, horrible start. The good thing is I can heal up the, the Frost Fox at least. Um, I mean, I guess we'll just heal up the Frost Fox a little bit, hit the Naga. Sadly, we don't hit the Fireball towards the Shaman, but we healed up the Naga a little bit, so I guess that's fine. He is going to enchant both of them. Just looking at his deck already compared to mine, I think we are not going to win this one. Uh, he failed to, to deal damage in that very turn, so I'm very grateful for that. He failed to deal damage. So we're just going to hit both of these guys, push the Shaman towards the Archon uh deal more damage to the goblin the enchantress does not get hit um i think my frost fox is gonna die here i'm pretty sure the frost fox is going to die oh yeah that's a lot of damage yeah the frost fox ain't surviving this one so i have to try to take out the um the naga as quick as possible and uh oh wow no the frost fox actually stayed alive surprisingly with only 19 health we have to go after the naga here so i'm just going to try to get a double hit here and we did a little bit of damage to the Enchantress, but take out the Naga and keep the Vampire alive. That is the only way we can win. And if we can heal up the Frost Fox back up, then that would be perfect, but I don't see that happening. He is going to deal damage to the Pirate. Really? Dealing damage to the Pirate, that's a very interesting choice. But that's fine with me, because now we can uh, heal up the Frost Fox a little bit here, getting a double hit. There we go. Frost Fox is alive. Pretty much got back up to, you know, wow, over 700 health. He got, he healed up for over 700 health. That was clutch. And like I said, we have to just take out the, the Naga as quick as possible. Because of that, he did so much damage. We have to try to, you know, take out the Naga as quick as possible. Or even, you know, he just healed up the, the Vampire a little bit. But that was a lot of damage. We'll just do that. Ooh, there we go. More damage right there. All right, um, he'll probably take out the vampire. Oh no, the enchantress goes next. I thought the naga went next. All right, so he will be taking out the vampire for sure. Yeah, there's that. So let's just focus on taking out his naga, like I'm saying. And oh wait, well should we? We can take out the shaman because um, the naga won't be dealing that extra damage onto the archon. So I think it's just best to take out the the shaman. Oh, what a play! What a play, and the Naga still stays alive there, dude, with 9 health, but what an insane comeback that we just did right there, ladies and gentlemen, I did not expect that, I did not expect to win that, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, so, who should we take out next? Definitely the Naga, because the Naga is dealing more damage than the Enchantress, and of course the Naga does have the attack buff, so it's best to take her out first, and if we can somehow shoot a fireball towards the Enchantress, that would be nice, no we don't, but that's okay. The Enchantress only has 628. Uh, we need three hits. We need we need three hits. All right, so we should be able to do that while surviving, especially you know since the first set will it will receive you know reduced damage. Ooh, 500 damage right there, not bad. So we'll just try to get a double hit. If we can get a triple hit, even better because we can win. And let's go, ladies and gentlemen! What a game! What a win! Let's freaking go dude i did not expect to win that at all we got nine wins in a row too i did not expect to to have that many wins in my baby account so far we're doing incredibly well let's continue on all right guys second match here facing against rocketeer is not fun Ooh, but his levels are actually pretty low which i'm kind of grateful for that that he has kind of low level heroes uh let's see if we can hit the mice banner here there we go 
pushing a towards a frost fox for over 600 health, 600 damage. The mice man is already have half health. He will be hitting the gargoyle. He missed the rocket tier. Actually, a little bit surprised that he missed the rocket tier there. We'll do this. This will take out the mice bandit. Hit the rocket tier. Ooh, nice double hits, dude. All right, so the rocket tier just took over a thousand damage. Oh, he survived it. Okay, so that was a pretty easy victory. Pretty easy victory. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Another good game right there. We just got 70 trophies right there. 80 trophies. Holy. Uh, let's continue on. All right, guys. That was a very easy last match. As long as we kept uh, facing heroes that are about the same levels. Well, we ain't winning this one. He has level 22s and level 24s. This low. Like, are you kidding me, dude? How are we supposed to win here? If we somehow win this, I'm going to be extremely surprised. Like, he has five levels higher than me. And of course, you know, with the Frost Fox and the, the Archon, he has eight levels higher than, uh, than me. We did lots of damage to the Berserker somehow, but there's just absolutely no way. If we can somehow win this one, I'm going to be extremely surprised. Um, I would like to heal up the Vampire, but ugh, I don't think we're going to be able to, honestly. I don't know if going for the Pirate, or sorry, the Berserker is going to be the correct play. Uh, let's see if we can heal up the vampire a little bit. We'll see. Uh, we do. We do deal a little bit of damage. Ah, he's going to buff up the archer. Yep, he's going to buff up the archer, and he will be taking out the vampire in one hit. And I think the pirate is set as well. Yeah. I mean, what, what was I supposed to do here? We are under-leveled compared to this person. We can heal up the, um, the frost fox a little bit here. So let's just do that, but... I mean... The archer is doing, what, a thousand damage? Yeah, look at that. A thousand damage. He can two-shot my heroes with ease. So, we ain't winning here. Oh, yeah. I mean, what's the point? <laughs> what's the point? We just got destroyed. Uh, we just got completely destroyed. Very unfortunate that we have to face a person that has eight levels higher than me. But, that's the point of whenever you're using, you know, a baby account, right? It's all good, though. Let's continue on. Alright, very unfortunate the last match. We just got destroyed because we absolutely had no chance. But here we do have a, a slim chance here. His highest level is the Mice Bandit. Uh, we do... Okay, we actually did, did a lot of damage to the um, Druid right there. But he is going to hit the, the Vampire towards the Mice Bandit. So that is going to hurt a little bit. But thankfully it is nothing too crazy. We can try to push the Mice Bandit towards the Vampire. There you go. So, we, so that way we can heal up just a little bit. Not what I anticipated, but it's all good. He is going to hit... He wants to hit the Vampire, but I think he is going to hit the Archon. Misses the Vampire other than burning him, so that's okay. Um, I mean, I would like to take out the Mice Bandit, but I think it's just best to... Um, we'll try to hit the Druid towards the Vampire to heal him up. And then this should hit the Farmer. There we go. There we go. We healed up the vampire twice. Did damage to the mice bandit. Did damage to the farmer. Let's go. Pretty good play right there. Farmer goes next. He is going for the, the pirate. Oh, wow. He just took out the the vampire. Well played. Well freaking played, dude. Um, Not much I can do here. I guess we just double hit the farmer. There really isn't much I can do here. So we'll try to double hit the farmer right here. Oh, he surrendered. What? He could have won! He could have won with the Mice Bandit easily. I'll take the victory, though. I'm trying to get to... I think it's the Bronze. Bronze reward for my baby account. Yep. I just need 20 more trophies to get to the Bronze reward. Hopefully, we can get there in this very match. Let's continue on. All right, guys. Can we get this victory? Hopefully, he does have enough trophies so that way we can get to the Bronze reward. He definitely does have enough trophies to get to Bronze reward. But who should we attack? We can double hit the Drakeling here, then hopefully we'll hit the the Wizard right there. Oh, we triple hit the Drakeling and hit the Champion, but no Wizard hit. We'll take it, though. That was a pretty decent play. He'll hit the Scarecrow towards a Vampire. That is going to hurt. Okay. But we can actually heal up the Vampire a little bit. We just gotta do this. Hit both of these guys. Hit the Vampire. Bada boom. Oh my Goodness gracious. How did that miss the wizard, though? The fireball missed the wizard, but we did take out the champion. The scarecrow is almost dead. Drickling took a bit of damage. 
I'm just surprised that the, the wizard did not take a single damage from the fireball. It's all good, though. That was an amazing play right there. Um, I mean, all we gotta do now is just take out that Scarecrow, and then we should... Or should we just hit... We'll hit the Drakeling first, and then we'll take out the Scarecrow. Oh, my goodness gracious. He surrendered. That is another victory right there, ladies and gentlemen. And we are going to get to 2,400 trophies, which gives us the bronze reward for my baby account. Now, ever since I got the bronze reward in my baby account, I forgot when, when was that... I haven't, I have not failed to get to bronze reward in my baby account, so I'm very happy with that. With the orb slots filled, I guess we we'll just open up a couple of orbs here. So uh, I'll be right back. Okie dokie, another match here. Pretty happy that we got to bronze reward. I still haven't gone uh, to silver reward in my baby account. I would like to, but it's just very difficult facing, you know, sometimes you know, like that archer, you know, level 20 heroes. Not much I can do about that other than just try to take them out as quick as possible, just to get. Hopefully have a chance of winning there. We do double hit the Archer and hit the Mind Spender right there. Wizard going next is such a bad hero for me because he is going to do a lot of splash damage down there. At least we do have the... Uh, there is a damage reduction because of the Aura, but that's that's a lot of damage. Like a lot of damage. Um, My saving grace, I think, is the taking out the archer while keeping the vampire alive. So I'm going to try to focus on the archer right there. Decent damage to the archer. Wizard takes a little bit of damage as well. We just got to try to keep the vampire alive. Um, he will be taking out the archon. I mean, it's just very difficult when you have level 16 heroes against level 20s and whatnot. Is my Frostbox even alive? He is barely hanging on for dear life. The archer, oof, 600 damage, dude. All right, so we just deal damage right there. Hit pushing it towards a frost fox, and we sadly don't hit anyone else right there. Um, Vampire can survive the double hit from the archer, thankfully. He okay, yeah, it makes sense. Oh, never mind. He's going after the pirate. What? I'm actually very surprised. Even if it you know manages to hit hit it with the arrow, um, I'm I'm actually surprised that he managed to go after the pirate instead of the the vampire. Okay then. Um, I mean, I would like to take out the archer, but we cannot do it in this turn. Uh, we'll just get a double heal right here. Oh, triple heal, that's perfect. And the mice banner is kind of blocked, so that's really nice. I mean, he'll hit me once, but that's okay. Just hit me once, dude. I'll be fine with only one hit. There you go. And we can, again, heal up the vampire. We just gotta keep him alive, obviously. That's the only way we can win. We cannot hit the archer, sadly, so I'm just going to heal up the vampire twice. Oh, three times. Let's go. Three times. But now he'll be taking out the frost fox while dealing damage to the vampire. Hopefully he doesn't get a double hit on the vampire. He does get a double hit on the vampire, of course. All right, so we have a thousand health. A thousand health. Uh, We can heal up twice, maybe. Can we heal up twice? There you go. We do heal up twice. Um, Bomber is doing 545. We have 423. So he needs three hits to take me out, which is very difficult. But hopefully he doesn't get it off. Like, it's very difficult. Um, No, he actually failed. Okay. He actually failed. Let's do... It's just his heroes are just so dangerous, dude. Uh, I might need to go for the... How much health the, does the vampire is healing for? So if we can get a double heal, the archer would need three hits to take me out. So let's focus on getting the double heal. Oh, tr oh, perfect. He is going to have a tough time taking me out. He needs, he still needs three hits though. That's how much damage that the archer is doing. Three hits to take out the vampire. So he will be getting, please, get, that's a double hit, okay. And we have 444. He has 499. Oh, wow. We can actually take them out in one hit on both of these guys. I just got to try to make way through to hitting the bomber right there. And let's go, ladies and gentlemen. We actually won against a level 20 archer. Let's freaking go, dude. I did not expect that to happen at all. Very nice win right there. We got the win streak on again. 2450. Let's continue on. All right, guys. Another match here. Let's see, facing... Okay, okay, actually, look at his levels. They're actually pretty low, so I do have a chance. I do have a chance. We just gotta try to... Who, who should we go after first? Um, 
I guess we'll just try to hit the genie towards the vampire, so that way the vampire can heal up a little bit. There you go. Oh, and we also hit the Ragnar, so not bad. If he uses a Ragnar's ability, it'll probably go after, I think, the vampire? The vampire, right? Right? No, the Frost Fox. All right, but thankfully, you know, only doing 180 compared to, you know, most... A lot of damage that the, you know the Ragnar can do when he's like a higher level. So pretty happy that he's not doing too much damage to me. Again, let's see if we can focus on healing up the vampire once again. Let's see if we can just hit the genie towards the vampire again. There you go. Uh, genie is dead. Perfect. Genie is dead. We're doing great. We should win here, considering the fact that because of his levels, I have three levels higher than him, which is nice. Four levels actually, because level level 15, some of them. Let's now double hit the Ragnar here, so that way no more access going all over the place. So that's good. Perfect. So, there's that. So now he only has the Shaman and the Pirate. Um, if he enchants everyone else and we just focus on the Pirate... Actually, I think it's best to still focus on the Pirate, because the Pirate will be able to just constantly heal up every single turn. And he is... Yeah, okay, well, there's that. There's that. Let's just focus on the Pirate here. Especially since the pirate is going to get a little bit of added damage right there. We also healed up the 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 vampire right there, which was very nice. Pirate kind of healed back up to full health because of his ability. So we just gotta just focus on the pirate for sure. Do that. Nice 700 damage more or less right there. And also hitting the shaman right there, which was nice. He is going to enchant the Archon. Now, that's, now at this point, let's definitely focus on you know the Pirate. Because we don't want the Pirate to do um, to heal up every single turn, obviously. Um, who should we... Should we just hit it like... No, no, no. We have to hit it like this. Push the Archon towards the Pirate. Um, and hopefully the Pirate gets pushed towards the Vampire. Yes! There you go. Perfect! And the Pirate survived. The pirate only had like 60 health, he survived. Now he has 300, must be nice. Must be nice. So, we're just going to hit the Archon like this, so that way the, the vampire can go down towards the pirate, or, yeah, towards the pirate. So that's good. Only the Shaman is left alive. He already did his job, so we don't need to worry about his ability anymore, so he's just doing damage. And he only has, he is only doing 167 damage, which is absolutely nothing, especially uh, compared to my Archon. That can, you know, tank some damage. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let's continue on. Alright, guys. Uh, so far, so good. I think we only got one loss, right? And then the rest of the, the game, we're doing pretty well. Just winning. Uh, level 17, 16, and 18. Uh, we can handle this as long as he doesn't do anything too crazy with the Rocketeer. The Rocketeer can definitely turn the tides here. Um, okay, decent damage to all four heroes. So we're just going to focus on the Wizard here. Try to get a double hand push it towards the Pirate. Oh, and the Cannonmaster gets hit too. The wizard almost died. The Cannonmaster took more damage right there. That was extremely nice. He will be hitting the pirate. Interesting choice. Okay, dude. Interesting choice. Let's let's hit the wizard to take him out. And let's see if we can make the pirate hit the Cannonmaster. Oh, the, the vampire actually hits the Cannonmaster and the Shaman, dude. What a play. What a play. Shaman goes next. Uh, probably going to enchant the pirate and the, and the vampire. And that's honestly okay with me. Uh, Cannonmaster has how much health? 497. We're doing 421. Uh, I mean, I would like to take out the Cannonmaster, but we might not be able to do it in this turn, but we're going to try it anyway. He surrendered! He surrendered! Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. What a game. We're doing incredibly well. We have 2522. I think this is the highest we have been in my baby account ever. And we are like 78 trophies away from getting to silver reward, which would be nice for my baby account. Let's see if we can, you know, just continue on winning. Let's continue on. All right, guys, another match here. Let's see who we're going to face against. The assassin is going to be a, you know, very problematic other than he has a level 20 berserker. Let's see if we can double hit the assassin here, and let's see if we can make the vampire go towards the golem and the berserker. Let's see. We do hit the golem, but not the the berserker. But that's honestly fine. The the assassin, of course, seven hundred damage on his off turn. We don't want that. 
He is going to hit my vampire in the Frostbox, hitting the vampire twice. Well played. We're going to have to try to heal up the vampire here. So let's push the vampire towards the golem, and hopefully we can hit the wizard. Yes, let's go. Our wizard goes next. Problem is the pirate and the vampire are together. So that is going to be a lot of damage to those two. Vampire should survive, however. It's just going to be a lot of damage. Ooh, of course he does that. All right. Um, we can heal up the vampire once again. For sure. Let's do that. Perfect. And another hit. The vampire basically healed up for a decent amount. He is just focusing on the vampire. He's focusing on the pirate? What? Hitting it towards the assassin. The vampire gets hit? No way, dude. Vampire is actually still alive somehow, though. Can we push the... Oof. If I do this, I, I don't think we're going to be able to hit the assassin using the vampire. But I think it's the best play to do so. Let's do that. Oh, we missed. We missed the assassin. It's okay. The assassin goes next, so he's not doing, you know, insane damage. Only 300. Uh, misses the pirate, thankfully. Uh, but of Oh, well, the pirate got taken out. There's that. Oh, boy. Can we still win here? The circle has 900 health. Oof. That is not good. I mean, I would like the Berserker to not hit the Archon, but that it's going to happen. He is going to get a double hit and actually take me out. He can easily take out the, the Archon, easily. So, this is going to be a loss. Yep, that's a loss, unless we can get a miracle play here using the Frostfox. Frostfox has 400 health, the Wizard is doing 200 damage, so we can tank one hit. Let's just, I mean, I guess do that, but if the Golem survives, yeah. The golem is going to take me out with the tremor. Yeah, it's definitely enough. Yep, it's definitely enough. So that is our uh, our sec. I I want to say our second loss. That is our second loss after winning seven times. I think we're doing. We're still doing good. We're still doing good. Um, let's play one more match so that way we can win, you know play ten matches in this video. Let's continue one. All right, guys. Can we get our um a win in the final match? Let's find out. Facing against level 18s and a level 17. So he has a pretty balanced deck other than he's just going to buff up the rockets here. Maybe twice. Only once, thankfully. He only buffed up once. Um, it's vampire, I guess this is his most dangerous hero. But he is going to heal up the vampire right now. Um, I don't know if going for the rocket here is going to be the correct play. This is such a you know interesting dilemma that we have. I'm just going to double hit the... The vampire there. Hit the puppet master. Alright. Pushing the catamancer. What is he doing? He does buff up the rocketeer. Well played, but I just didn't expect that to happen, you know? Um, I guess we'll just double hit the puppet master here. There really isn't much I can do. And uh, with his rocketeer kind of blocked, he won't be able to do too much damage to my... Oh, well. All he has to do is hit the corner, then he'll hit three of them. Yeah, that is very unfortunate placement that the vampire positioned himself so he is going to hit all three of them and this is where i need to keep my vampire alive that's a lot of damage a lot of damage um again should we just let's just keep focusing on the puppet master here we should be able to hit the uh, rocketeer right there how is the puppet master still alive dude 11 health the puppet master is still alive i need the vampire to stay alive it might not happen but we'll see He's focusing on the Frost Fox to buff up the Rocketeer. Interesting choice. Very interesting choice. Um, I guess we'll hit the Puppet Master here, so that way he, there's no puppets on the board. We do deal damage to the Vampire and the Rocketeer a little bit. Um, he's probably going to buff up the Rocketeer once again. Yep, while well, taking out the Pirate, he is going to buff up the Rocketeer. Right? Yep, he does buff up the Rocketeer. So Rocketeer has three rockets. That's very unfortunate. Uh, very unfortunate. I don't think we're going to be able to... I mean, the Rocketeer is doing... A thousand damage in one hit right now, so... Actually, we might be able... If we heal up the Vampire, I think the... 
the vampire would be able to tank the hit, actually. So the vampire will be able to tank the hit here. I'm pretty sure he can. There you go. He'll be able to tank the hit. So we just gotta just heal up the vampire now. He did buff up the rocketeer once again. Let's see if we can get a double heal here. Oh, that was three heals right there. That was incredibly nice. Rocketeer is almost dead. Canamancer goes next. I the, the the tables have turned, ladies and gentlemen. I am actually making a comeback. Oh well, the the vampire died. The vampire died. That's not fun. Uh, great. Not not what I wanted, but better than nothing, I guess. I just cannot let his heroes deal damage to the uh the archon towards the cats. We got a double kill right there. Vampire only has 500 health, but the problem is he can heal up. So we can tank a little bit, but if he gets a double hit, uh, we might not win. He does get... Okay, then. We're not winning this one anymore, ladies and gentlemen. We had a chance, but when, uh, how can we get? How can we deal a thousand damage here? We need to get a bunch of hit damage, plus push him towards the fire. Let's hope for the best. No! We got a triple hit and the fire, but it was not enough, dude. His heals kept him alive, dude. So after 10 games, we won 7 times. I'm pretty sure, if, I, if I'm doing the math correctly, we won 7 times, which is not bad at all. We got a good amount of wins. We went up 160 trophies, even though we got up to 2,500. We, we, that was a pretty decent run for my baby account. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. And if you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below and subscribe to the channel for more Smashing 4 videos. Pretty fun run. Haven't done this, uh, you know, ladder videos in a long time. Pretty fun, to say the least. If you guys have any other recommendations that you want to see, just let me know down in the comments below. And I'll certainly do it for you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. And thanks again for your continued support. I will see you in the next one. Take care.